Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS AH64D video, we'll discuss the new George Copilot Gunner Target Identification System. Now earlier, the George CPG would be unable to distinguish between friendly, unknown, neutral, and hostile targets. This could easily result in blue-on-blue -blue incidents if not careful. This new system addresses this by offering different levels of target identification that the mission creator can select from. Let's get started. To determine how the CPG identifies units set at spots, it can be determined by how you set up your labels and F10 map view options. Let's select options and then the gameplay tab. From labels, we can select from the following. Full and abbreviated allow the CPG to automatically know the unit's coalition and unit type. Symbol only allows the CPG to automatically know the unit's coalition. And no label on dot requires the CPG to manually identify everything about the unit. From the F10 view options, we can also determine how the CPG unit identification is displayed on the F10 map. Map only in my aircraft require manual CPG identification. And with fog of war and allies only, the CPG will automatically identify the unit's coalition and unit type. Using these options, you can set the CPG unit identification from an arcade level in which the CPG is all knowing to a very realistic level in which various factors are considered for identification and the CPG can make mistakes. Later in this video, we'll use the most realistic settings of no labels and fog of war on the F-10 map. In the Mission Editor Helicopter Group window in the rightmost tab, we have a new AI IFF option. When set to auto, the CPG will use the label and F-10 map options that we just discussed. When set to simple, it will instantly identify the coalition and unit type. When set the label, it will use realistic spotting to determine the unit type, but then automatically determine the coalition. And realistic will require realistic spotting to determine the unit type and coalition. For realistic unit and coalition identification, two primary factors are considered that include the following. Angular size is based on the distance and profile of the unit. For example, a head-on unit would be more difficult to identify than one being viewed from the side. A unit type being assigned to more than one coalition can affect coalition identification. The general unit type, such as air, ground, or naval. The unit category, such as tank, IFE, utility, and so on. And then the specific unit type, such as T-72, BMP-2, and so on. When identifying a unit, the CPG will use the TADS FLIR and use multiple field of views to acquire and then identify the unit. You'll be able to see this through the vid tads field. There's more than one unit acquired in the line of sight designated area. The target list is displayed in the bottom and left of the screen. By default, only hostile and unknown units will be listed. Friendly units would only be listed if unknown and hostile units are not identified. If an unknown is then determined to be friendly, it is removed from the list. Listings are color coded. Friendlies are blue, unknowns are yellow, and hostiles are red. Instead, you wish to view all units, you can press right long with the target list to view, or back to just unknown and hostiles by pressing left long. To have the CPG change the zoom level on a target, you can press up long to zoom in, or down long to zoom out. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.